This is the dial on my LPG tank on my motorhome and I would like to see the level on my Serbo GX. So how do I do that? Hi folks, I'm Roger from Off Grid Power Solutions. In this episode, I'm going to uh, take you through some of the finer detail of connecting your LPG dial to a Serbo GX. So this is the dial from my tank. I've uh, got a bit of a video to show you exactly where it comes on the tank. So this is what the regular dial looks like. Uh, I haven't put the screws in, but uh, that gives you the picture. I'm about 50% full. This one you have to visually look at uh, to, in order to see what the level is. So this is what you need to put in its place. It's an L7. The previous was an L1. This is a Type L7. Uh, the mount is quite close, slightly off, but that's uh, not a problem. So those two wires will go to the servo. As you can see, it's no wires or anything. And the way that this works is it goes into a little housing and there's a, a magnet in that is moved with, with the uh, level of the gas going up and down and the magnet is moved and that's what causes this dial to move. So simple magnet. So this is the one without wires. So let me bring one with wires. So here is almost exactly the same dial, but with wires sticking out. See this one, no wires. This one has got two wires. And otherwise it is exactly the same. It is a type L7, this is an L1. And uh, these are the dials supplied by Gasset or Gas RT. I don't know how they actually call their company, but uh, that's my underslung um, LPG tank. My son, Nigel, has got uh, some uh, upright tanks are the same make and so he uses the same dials. So the way that this works is there's a magnet in the tank that will be moving the uh, the dial and as the dial moves the resistance across these two wires will change. So on the Serbo GX we'll be connecting this and setting the resistance, the, the high and the low resistance value and from there the system can work out uh, how much is in the actual tank. So we need to lengthen these wires and connect them to the Serbo GX. I've lengthened these two wires, connected them to the uh, plug that goes into the Serbo GX. And uh, at the same time, I thought I'd uh, connect my tank connector and take you through the setup of both. So this is a standard uh, 400 mil connector. It's got this little float that moves up and down. And this also just changes the resistance on these two wires. This is a 400 mil or a, a 400 mil high fresh water tank. So I'm gonna be connecting both of them into my Serbo GX and take you through how I set everything up. Let's connect these into the Serbo GX, shall we? Right, let's try and plug this in. It's quite difficult to achieve that uh, without a torch or anything but I will try and see if I can get the right place. There we are and that plugs in nicely. Make sure it's nice and secure. So now I have my LPG sending unit and my tank sending unit all plugged in. Right, uh, let me move over to my iPad here and uh, I'm just doing it on here. I could be doing it on the screen and you'll see as I work on the iPad, the screen will actually synchronize, this, but it's just easier to actually record this to show you in better detail exactly what we're doing. So here we are with the device list on the on the server GX here. I've turned this off. I could just turn it back on and you'll see the uh, the MultiPlus will come on, but we don't need the MultiPlus for this. I'm just trying to show you these two levels. So we have plugged both of these in. So you would run a cable from here to your tank and have this mounted on the top of your tank and you would have this running to your LPG tank. So this is long enough to go into mine uh, when I actually mount it. Right, we are going to set this up now. And so we click on setup. And let's just change the capacity first. So that's set at 200. Let's bring it back down to uh, 160. I'm going to take it to 160 because my tank is 160. Now, you have to hit this tick box at the bottom, otherwise it'll just ignore the changes that you just made. So you click on that, and there it's set to 160. It's set to a standard, which will be 0 to 180, but I know that this goes to 198. So I'm going to change that. So it's on custom, and I want the sensor. Zero is fine when it's empty, but when it's full, I'm going to change that. I'm going to change that to 200. I know it's 198 is the maximum because I've measured the resistance coming off it, but 200 is going to be fine to say that. 
There we are. Hit the tick box. So this thing's range is zero ohms to 200. Fluid type is fresh water, that's correct. It's liters. It's not a custom shape. Averaging time is 10 seconds, that's fine. And here you see the sensor value. Currently it thinks it's 167.9, which is fine. So if I bring it up all the way to the very top, you'll see it's on 199.6. So that's why I've got a 200 because of little, if it just happens to nudge up a little bit for whatever reason, I wanted to actually not say it's disconnected. So 199, so you need to set your upper value slightly higher than the most, the, the maximum that your uh, resistance can come from that, that sending unit. So that is everything that we need. We can set the alarms later on, but that is everything that we need right now. So if I come back to the display here, so at the moment it thinks it's 99. If I actually manually bring it down, that should be just about zero. So you'll see it climb down slowly, moves down until finally it is Yep, 1%, that's fine. 1 or 2%, that's okay. And that should be around about the 50% mark. So I'm just gonna leave that there. That's my tank sending unit, comes up to roughly 50%. I'm happy with that. And uh, you could change the name, so where it says freshwater tank, you can change it to whatever you want. So let's do the, uh, the second one now. Check. Right, uh, this fuel tank 21 is actually our LPG tank, so that is this one here, and uh, I'm just going to secure it on the table. So let's put it on the other side here because I want to keep it there. And uh, let's set it up now. So let's go set up, and uh, the fuel, the fluid type. Let's click on that. And we're going to change down to RPG. There's RPG. The capacity, I think I am on about a 30 liter. I can't even remember what it is, but that's not terribly important. So let's minus on that. I'm just going to say it's 30 liters. I'll check that later. So we click the tick mark. So we got, uh, and the uh, the range is is completely custom. So let's say, we click on that, and we are going to change it to a custom range. And we're going to say when it's empty, it's zero, and when it's full, it is. Uh, it's meant, it's called a zero to 95, or, but in the specification it says uh, zero to 90. So I'm gonna actually make it the, the full value, just to check it, I'm gonna make it 100, which will give me enough room to check to see what it actually is. There we are, set on 100. It's LPG, it's in liters, you could choose kilograms if you wanted to, or whatever. It's everything that I need to know. What I'm actually gonna do, let's just go back to that. So if we see, uh, we huh, I got to 51% on this, and I was aim, aiming for 50, so that was pretty close. Right, I'm going to actually figure out what the true resistance range is on the sending unit. And the way I'm gonna do it, I, I, I don't wanna connect it to the tank and then fill up the tank and drain the tank because obviously it's RPG. Um, but what I can do is take this little magnet and uh, move this about. Right, so we have the unit which is basically fixed on a percentage and it needs to get moved by the magnet. So instead of taking it out and attaching it to the tank and then filling up and draining the tank, which obviously can't do because it's LPG, I'm simply gonna move the dial with a magnet. 
because in the tank, the, the mechanism that moves this dial is a magnet anyway. So I'm just going to simulate that. So I want to see what the lowest setting is. So let's bring the magnet here and drag this around. Uh, it's going, there we are. And I've managed to drag it around to what is on this dial 5%, which is basically or zero percent, I'm not sure. It says five, but it's, it looks more like it's zero. It's right at the start anyway. So if we look at this, it says the LPG tank 21 is now at uh, zero percent. So I'm gonna go and see what the actual uh, resistance setting is that is coming up. So we do, we go to the settings and we move up. So this, the sensor value is at 0 0.6 ohms. So that's cool. I'm very happy with that. That is my uh, lowest setting that, so when it gets to that, I do want it to show that there's nothing left in the tank. So let's take the magnet now and we drag the dial. If you can see this, I'm dragging it to the, the, the most that you'd ever be able to fill this to. Uh, it takes a bit of an art to actually drag it around. There we are. See, that's at the at the eighty percent, which is when you fill it up, um, it gets cut off at the eighty percent mark. So that's what I wanted to see. And you can see here now the sensor value has moved up to eighty ohms. So <clears throat> I know that m my tank uh, should only ever go up to eighty ohms. And so what I'll do now is just put this to one side. Um, I'm going to say, right, let's sense a value when full. It's currently on uh, 100, so I'm going to just hold this down to bring it up to 80. You have to just keep on checking that you don't overrun. Um, I'll bring in a little bit of margin for error, but not much, and 82. 82 ohms, and now when I come back, it says it's 98% full. So for where the dial is, as you can see the dial there, that is practically 100%. So 90, I'm good with 90, it's saying that it's 98%. Now, you could, you could choose to say that it's going up to 90 ohms, which is the, what this is, thing is rated as, which would then tell you exactly what is in your tank according to the dial. So that's fine. So if you want to change this to 90, the upper limit to 90, and that'll tell you. So why don't we do that anyway? Uh, and then it'll give us an accurate picture. So I'm gonna come back. We check that when it is 80%, it's 80 ohms, but actually it is rated at a 90 ohm. So it's rated at zero to 90 ohms. So let's bring this to 90. And I'm happy with that. So 90 ohms. Now, if I come down, it's at 89%, which is okay. 89%, it's, it's actually at 80%, but that's fine. So I guess if you'd wanted to get this to show exactly what's in the dial, we would then need to move this up. So let's just do that, try and get it to show exactly what's on the dial there. So I'm actually gonna take it back up to 100. Should we try it at 95? Because it is meant to be rated at, to my mind, that's what it was called. So let's see what it actually says. 84, I'm happy with 84, um, to keep it at 84. So if we, if we were to now move it, say on here to, so that's moved to just, just over 40 with my magnet. So let's see what it comes up with, uh, 45. I'd say it's about 42 and a half, this is 45. 
So it's it's not going to give you absolutely 100% accurate results, but actually with that I'm really happy. In fact, what I would do on this one, I, to just to be pedantic, I would say let's actually move this up to 100. And I'm just curious to see if it actually comes up with it, the exactly right value. I would say it is 43. Let's move it again just to see. This is sitting at 70. So it's gone, it's climbing up. Sixty-nine percent, and actually, it is just before seventy. So I'm I'm very happy that I have calibrated this with my little magnet. I can go and screw this into the tank now, connect it uh, properly to my servo. This is the uh, workshop servo, and so it's actually going into my my own camper van, and um, I'll be able to go online. So actually, I'll I'll just show on here what that all looks like. So I'm in the remote console at the moment. Uh, let's spin out of the re remote console and back to the dashboard. And we come to the dashboard and you can see <clears throat> I've got the usual stuff on the uh, dashboard over here that you would be used to. I haven't installed GUI mods here. So uh, and I, I, on my own Motorhome, I've installed GUI mods, which I really enjoy. But as you can see, it says the fresh water is at 51 and the LPG is at 23. So this would have been, as you can see in the top left here, this would have been five minutes ago that it's got that. So I hope that was useful. So I will be installing uh, this probably this weekend into my tank, my fresh water tank. I'll be installing this onto my LPG tank and uh, I'll be able to sit in my lounge chair and check to see exactly what uh, level I've got. And as we've seen, it's pretty accurate. And as long as the uh, magnets in the tank are moving this properly, which it does, then it's going to give me the accurate reading of how much gas I've got left in my tank and how much water I've got left in my fresh water tank. If you'd like uh, more handy tips and, and even uh, discount codes and things like that, then you look in the description. There is a link to subscribe to our mailing list. We, we try not to spam with a bunch of nonsense, but we try and make it really informative and helpful and I think once you subscribe you'll agree it won't be a nuisance to you, you probably really enjoy it. Thanks for watching and I hope that is useful. Cheers.